Shall we start? Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, Please, before you start, uh, sorry to interrupt you. You've, you've gone 10, let's say 15 minutes, not more, nor less. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, in fact, we changed uh, the title a bit um, uh, to talk about uh, global citizenship education. Uh, but before that, I'd like to uh, say that since today we are living in a globalized uh, age, uh, there are uh, let's say, common challenges that face uh, the humanity in the 21st century, uh, such as climate change, um, poverty, illiteracy, religious conflicts, and even political conflicts. Uh, that's why we need to take quick actions to find the solution to these challenges and problems. Uh, so education um, is, uh, shouldn't only impart knowledge uh, to students or uh, let's say theoretical knowledge and skills but rather the role of education should be to prepare citizens who work for the common good of humanity for this uh, purpose we selected this title teaching in a globalized era algerian efl teachers perceptions of global citizenship education and its integration in higher education curricula Okay, to start with, we selected this quote. Um, As a citizen, you get your rights through a passport, a national paper. As a global citizen, it is guaranteed not by a state, but through your humanity. This means you are also responsible to the rest of humanity and not the state alone. This is the meaning of a global citizen. In fact, education is more than the transmission of knowledge, as I said before, and skills from teacher to student. It is also about citizenry. It must help people to live harmoniously with other societies and cultures. The statement of our problem, civic education is part of primary and middle Algerian schools curricula. But despite this, there are some challenges. Firstly, the teaching methods did not change since Algeria's independence. You know that our classrooms, mainly in the middle school and secondary school, are teacher-centered. Secondly, the courses are theoretical and evolve now on-site uh, tasks. Thirdly, Algerian classrooms are teacher-centered. Students cannot voice their views or critically think about the content of the subjects they are studying. The curriculum is not linked to the students' real life and problems of their society. And worse than that all is that the uh, higher education EFL curriculum is free of any civic or global citizenship education content. This, the following study has these two aims. Firstly, to examine the place of global citizenship education in higher education EFL curricula. And secondly, to measure teachers' awareness and perceptions of the importance of global citizenship education inclusion in EFL courses and the role it has in the generation of globally skilled citizens. These are our questions. The first one is, to what extent is global citizenship education is, uh, sorry, integrated within the Algerian EFL higher education curriculum? And are EFL teachers at the University of Umbuaki aware of global citizenship education and its contribution to the creation of globally minded citizens? Before that, we'd like to give a definition of global citizenship education because uh, not um, all, let's say, students are aware of uh, its definition. We selected just three definitions. Firstly, the one given by the UNESCO, it says that global citizenship education refers more to a sense of belonging to a broader community and common humanity, promoting a global gaze that links the local to the global and the national to the international. Taurus 2017 defined it as being marked by an understanding of global interconnectedness and a commitment to the collective good. Finally, another definition by the UNESCO. It is a way of understanding, acting, and relating oneself to others and the environment in space and in time. 
based on universal values through respect for diversity and pluralism. In this context, each individual's life has implications in day-to-day -day decisions that connect the global with the local and vice versa. This means that global citizenship education should prepare students uh, and the individuals to, uh, so that they uh, think of the good of all the humanity and not, uh, and not just be, um, they need to think beyond the state's borders. You need to think as an international citizen because today uh, you know that thanks to globalization and technology, we almost share the same problems. Um, f in fact, uh, this concept received many definitions uh, and there were many, let's say, uh, scholars didn't agree on one definition, but what they agreed on is that it contains three core concepts which are related to pedagogy and learning, which are firstly the cognitive. The cognitive is related to acquiring knowledge and thinking critically about the, the local, national and global issues. The socio-emotional, it is to have a sense of belonging to a common hum um, humanity, sharing values and responsibilities, empathy, solidarity, and respect for differences and diversity. Finally, it is the behavioral. The behavioral is to act effectively and responsibly at local, national, and global levels for a more peaceful and sustainable world. Now with the research methodology. Um, so to address our research questions, um, we uh, designed a questionnaire uh, which was delivered to a sample of um, 11 EFL teachers at Larbi Ben Mahidi University uh, to probe into their perceptions and awareness of global citizenship education and its importance in the higher education curriculum. Um, our research findings are um, as follows. Um, the first question um, um, uh, was uh, meant to um, trigger like, um, uh, teachers' answers concerning their teaching experience and international experience because, as you know, um, um, teachers' uh, international experience plays an important role in um, um, uh, their teaching uh, uh, career. So out of 11 teachers, we found out that only, um, let's say, four teachers who have uh, an international experience. Uh, the second question was about um, using the term uh, global citizen or global citizenship in the EFL class. And uh, out of our questionnaires, uh, we found out that almost all the participants approved that they have never used the term. Only one teacher declared that he has already used the term inside the class. Um, the second question, um, uh, in the second question, we asked teachers to define for us the term uh, global citizenship education. Uh, we found out that among the total number of participants, only five teachers expressed their familiarity with the concept, and only two managed to provide a correct definition of global citizenship education. And here we are quoting uh, the two definitions. Uh, the first one said that uh, global citizenship education refers to equipping students with the necessary knowledge and skills uh, that en enable them to cope with global issues. And the second teacher considered global citizenship education as a program which prepares students to be competent to communicate in situations where a variety of nationalities, languages, and cultures are involved. Um, the third question was about teachers' perceptions of the inclusion of global citizenship education or issues in the curriculum. Uh, out of 11 teachers, just eight teachers stated that they would pay attention to the concept of global citizenship education if it were included in the curriculum. However, uh, out of the total number, which is 11, just three teachers, they gave, gave the following justifications. Uh, the first one, uh, we are living in an age of globalization where limits between countries no longer exist, so we have to make learners aware of the world around them. Uh, the second one gave the, the following justification. Uh, due to the importance of technology nowadays, we need to update our perceptions and concep conceptions of the actual society environment. However, it is more important to start with local citizenship than we move to the global one. So here, um, this teacher considers that we, we, we should first start with 
um, generating um, a citizen who, uh, now, who are responsible uh, locally rather than globally. The third one uh, justified it as follows. The underlying goal of this concept is to raise students' awareness about various issues in their societies. It makes them not only successful students, but also positive and active citizens. Um, this question was about, um, uh, about like exploring teachers' awareness of any local or national policies, initiatives, programs, or projects regarding global citizenship education that are currently being implemented in the formal education sector. Um, actually, when we ask teachers, only two respondents who confirmed their familiarity with local or national policies, initiatives, programs, or projects regarding global citizenship. Uh, regarding teachers' participation in study abroad programs uh, organized by associations that promote civic engagement, only one teacher admitted her participation in a study abroad program organized by associations that promote civic engagement. And uh, overall, teachers' nor participation in such initiatives could be justified by two reasons. Uh, the first one, either teachers' lack of awareness of the, exi the existence of such initiatives in the first place, or due to their reluctance to take part in such programs as they are not acquainted with their importance. Uh, the following question was about um, the chief challenges of implementing global citizenship education policies, uh, programs, and initiatives in the Algerian context. And uh, so we found the following challenges, uh, limited access of educators and school authorities to theoretical and practical training for teaching uh, global citizenship education. The second one was um, limited capacity to produce high quality educational materials. And the third one is about ins insufficient time available in the curriculum to teach uh, global citizenship education. Uh, regarding teachers' thoughts about the conflict that exists between education for global citizenship and local values, uh, five respondents confirmed the fact of an existing conflict between global citizenship education and local values, and these results reveal that not all teachers are ready to include global citizenship education in the content of what they are teaching, since they believe that it is a threat to local values and beliefs. Uh, so, uh, we concluded that uh, AFL teachers at La Riba Mahidi University on Bouaké are not knowledgeable enough about global citizenship education and its importance in generating individuals who can face the local and global challenges of the 21st century. Therefore, immediate measures should be considered regarding the incorporation of global citizenship education within the Algerian curriculum. Uh, we ended up with these uh, three pedagogical recommendations. Uh, the first one has to do with breaking the traditional teaching cycle, uh, which is teacher-centered, and integrating dialogic teaching technique, uh, as suggested by Alexander uh, 2006, who is the pioneer of this uh, uh, teaching technique. Uh, it is about harnessing the power of talk to engage learners, stimulate and extend their thinking, and advocate their learning and understanding within the noble goal of instilling in them lifelong learning and active citizenship. Uh, the second pedagogical recommendation has to do with in enhancing civic engagement and study abroad programs, or the so-called just do it, uh, in the Algerian context, as they are the easiest way to generate global citizens who are knowledgeable of current global issues and who are ready to make a difference by contributing to the wider uh, world community. The last recommendation has to do with integrating global citizenship education competencies, namely cognitive, uh, social, emotional, and behavioral within the EFL curriculum, along with raising both teachers and students' uh, awareness about its importance. Uh, thank you so much.